Hi everyone, Mal here. As you can see, Speedy's not up for the video today due to him sleeping. Now, as for the reason he's been sleeping for so long, is, well, um... The last few weeks have been very difficult for Speedy. Now, for his sake, I, Mal, will take his place today and do a little of the video today so that he doesn't have to. So that way he can get some rest. But the one catch is, I can't do it out here due to him sleeping. So, we will be going into subconscious today. Now, I don't know if the, com if the camera will follow, but hey, better be now than never to test it out, right? Here we go. Lights are off. Must forget to leave them on before I left. Much better. Everyone, welcome to the subconscious. I know it's not the best place, but this is where I do my day job. By keeping Speedy sane and having his back against certain foes and enemies that he has to face. Now, as you can see, his soul is in the yellow. The reason it's in the yellow is because of all the stress and aggravation he's had to deal with along stupidity these last few weeks. Now, the reason he has this condition in the first place is, well, a story for another time, but basically, well, uh, there's a pest in Speedy's head going in and out as he pleases, and, well, I, he, I made it my purpose to. Long story short, it's a form of depression, and it's given, it's, it's given itself its own personality. And the worst thing about this little pest, this little ugly pest, it pesters him, calls him nothing but stupid, retarded, a waste of a human life, and... It constantly berates him, calling them names that no one should hear, even from their own voice. But normally, the computer would tell me if it's here or brought up a monster or something to torment Speedy's dreams. But, for the first time, in a long time, it's silent. Because normally, the computer would start going off like a, like a car horn, and a bunch of other noises as well. Speak of the devil! Oh god, no, no, please! No. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. Get over here! What is that? It's the ice cream! I want chocolate! <sighs> now you guys see what I deal with on a daily basis every time Speedy sleeps. Good news is, Speedy Soul has become stable now. <sighs> this cycle is so repetitive and pointless, I wish I could end it. Wait, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, how can I explain this without making you guys worry out the wazoo? <laughs> well, there was a time where Speedy was genuinely happy and loved everything. But then he started getting signs of depression... And through that depression, basically a demon emerged. A demon that wanted nothing more to just destroy everything Speedy loved and cared for. It drove tons of family members and friends away. And when Speedy noticed this, he tried to deal with it himself. But in doing so, he gave this thing more power than it ever could have, it should have. And no matter what I said or did, it's like it was falling upon deaf ears. Speedy was always stubborn and didn't want to back down from a challenge in case it was for anyone else's good. And... It also aggravated me why I couldn't find him and help him out. Mainly because he wasn't in Speedy's head anymore when we got into this stupid dimension. And the reason why is, well... This is the mainframe computer. 
This was here when I first arrived, and this baby can do a lot of stuff. Like, seriously, it's amazing with how much it can do. It can do almost anything, but one problem is... Ah! Ugh, it's very unstable. I have gotten zapped on this thing so many times, it's ridiculous. That stupid computer is the reason that freak is not in here where I can wallop him. And he's out there doing gunnels with and I can't do a thing to stop it unless he shows himself. Speaking of which, if that freak ever dares to come near me or Speedy again, well, <laughs> the things I'm going to do, well, will not be good for family television or viewing. <sighs> Worst thing is I can't stay mad at him. That's how he gets his power and he gets stronger. Negative emotions. And that's what's asinine. Cause, because Speedy gave this thing so much attention trying to deal with it, it got its power in the first place. And what saddens me is, well, most people have this problem, and it's not as bad, but it's more threatening, you know? And now I'm not talking about the fakers, but the, take it from someone who generally knows and sees it. This can hurt family members no matter what you do. You have to talk to someone no matter what you're feeling or thinking. You know, but to change the topic, I am very, very glad to say that Speedy will be trying to keep on a normal schedule again. As well as that, I have a few announcements of my own. So, basically, I am going to be putting my own little links hidden throughout Speedy's animations from time to time. If you see a link, click on it. It will send you a, to a video to which I have made on Speedy's animation software. So that way you guys can have more talks with me, and I can tell you guys more about our predicament, and you get to know a little bit more about our story. But besides that, I think I finished everything up here, so I hope you all have a great day, and I hope you all enjoyed the animation. Hope to see you all in Speedy's next animation. Goodbye.